a warm round of applause to our guests walking into this video. Our panelists for this afternoon's press conference from Chelsea, Asia Tour 2011, Malaysia. I think uh, I'll start on your uh, on your final question. I'm not a striker, so uh, I'm just uh, trying to for my strikers to build on their confidence. And this comes with the qualities that they have, and not just not from information that I give them. Uh, I think exactly the opposite is it's the players that offer me uh, the solutions, and and uh, and we find uh, a balance in between of ideas to to put uh, to put us into into the road to success, which is what we want. So I think that's much more important than, uh, than, uh, than uh, again, than myself showing you which kind of ideas that uh, I'm trying to implement. I mean, uh, uh, there's plenty of talent in this squad, as I told you before, in uh, the press conferences, and uh, I want to believe that, uh, that the players can still find uh, new things in them to, to exploit, and, uh, and I want to fully potentiate uh, their talent. So uh, then again, it's, it's always... Uh, uh, them that offer to me rather than, than myself offering uh, offering to them. Uh, regarding our, our preparation, our preparation will continue in uh, in Asia. Uh, we are very glad that we are uh, we are here sharing these experiences with you because it was important for us to touch on uh, on the Asian uh, market and the amount of fans that we have uh, in uh, in Asia. Uh, we will continue with our philosophy in the first uh, in the first game of uh, of 45 minutes. Uh, to, and both two teams in, four, in each 45 minutes. And uh, well, we're trying, we're trying gradually to build on uh, on uh, on a new way of uh, a new way of playing and uh, a getting together of ideas. And hopefully by by seventh of August, when we initiate the, the week running into the Stoke game, we'll be able to to be already uh, with um, with uh, almost the experiences that we need to, to bring us to, to success against Stoke. I really don't want to focus a lot on formations because. Um, I mean, we are uh, this 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 kind of players offer this kind of flexibility, to, for the flexibility for you to play in in various different ways. So, um, I mean, it's, it's it's not just a question of uh, a formation is going to give you more than, than another one. I think uh, uh, with what they have, we'll try to find a, find a better way to play so that they can potentiate their own talent as individual and as as a, as a collective group. It's it's, it's, uh, it's 15 days and it's going to be. Uh, a frenetic 15 days, but uh, but it's part of uh, of uh, of, uh, of the of the tour, and we are happy to, to, to take it like that. I mean, it's it's nothing new that uh, the, the top uh, European teams move abroad, uh, not only to show themselves to to, to the fans based uh, abroad, but also to uh, to get together in uh, in uh, in that sense. So, I mean, it's going to be in, an intense 15 days. Um, I mean, this is this is always important. You can you can do it in Asia, or you can do it in Europe, or in uh, in, in America, or other countries. But uh, it's always it's always important for us to, to touch on, on the people that love us and uh, far far away from us. We are, we are nothing uh, out of the ordinary, apart from uh, obviously uh, Michael, which uh, which of course didn't travel with the team, and you know what this problem is, uh, and it's a big uh, big blow for us. But, not only as a player, but as a, as a person and what he represents as a person. Uh, regarding uh, the other injuries, it's, it's just um, minor, normal pre-season injuries and, and, and pre-season discomforts here and there due to the amount of training that these players have been putting and the intensity that they put in training sessions. So nothing out of the ordinary with, uh, with Alex and, 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 and Petr Cech. And uh, you will readily see them, see them back uh, this pre-season. Well, the medicals are being done at this moment, so... Uh, only after the medicals and after uh, personal terms we will comment on that. I mean, uh, the market has, has plenty of us of, uh, of offer and we have to decide according to what our needs are. And you, uh, we cannot forget that we are uh, 15 days together and these 15 days is always a continuous evaluation for us. I mean, we're not putting players on the test because uh, they are top quality players, but we need to get the most information as, as possible. And uh, as I told them yesterday in, in, uh, in the press conference in Portsmouth, I think when, by the time we, uh, we, we go to the market, we will approach the market with, uh, with the targets that, that we want and uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can do the, the deals that we want. So, uh, I mean, it's, uh, I have to respect the, um, the kind of approaches that the other teams have to the market and I have nothing to say about it. Nor with a sense of urgency that you're trying to put in your question, as I told this, uh, this, 
this fellow colleague of yours, a journalist. Uh, there's no sense of urgency. I mean, uh, it's, it's it's still a big 15 days to, for us to go through in terms of uh, activities and games and, and training sessions. And again, I mean, when we go to the market, you know, I think I think I think it was fair based on, on the people that are around this this uh, this year that weren't around when Chelsea finished last season for me to take a look at them. And that's why we took a decision to bring uh, Patrick, Ryan, and, and, and Daniel, uh, Billy Clifford, and and and, uh, and Rykovic. And Kakuta, which left us for uh, for Colombia for the World Cup. So uh, I mean, uh, I think the, um, it's it's important for me to to, to see to see them in uh, in, uh, in training situation, and that's what we are trying to do. I think the the pressure for the Champions League is uh, is always legitimate in any top club. So it's not all it's not only us running to 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 the biggest European trophy. There's a lot of teams running to try to to win it. Uh, again. Uh, there's been a consistency, consistency in the last uh, six, seven years of uh, a certain amount of teams being present in the semi-finals and the finals, uh, from Barcelona to, to Manchester United and to Chelsea. So Chelsea is included in those teams that permanently arrived to the, to the semi-finals. And, uh, and the semi-finals is a question of two games where anything can happen. And, uh, and unfortunately, uh, it didn't happen for us in, in, in two seasons that I was present in, in the club. The club went on after to, to a magnificent final, and uh, Chelsea is present. So uh, I mean, uh, in the next uh, years, for sure, that, uh, that the trophy will arrive to this club. I just, I just keep, yeah, I just have to keep the, the standards high. If not, uh, it's I mean, it, it's it's not nothing uh, normal in football that you have to win, and your compromise is, is to win. So uh, there's nothing new for me in that kind of. Uh, of, uh, of environment. I mean, you are you are uh, uh, any any person who sits on the manager's job in, in Chelsea is expected to win, and I don't I don't run away from that. Um, I think uh, <coughs> the fact that Andre is a young manager for, for us is pretty relevant. I think it's nice. It's a nice freshness to play with a um, something new, a new style, new training from last year. Um, but what what is important is the quality of the manager. I think you saw that in Porto last year. A lot of us are lucky that we've worked with the manager before, so there's a nice continuity there where we know his um, ideals on the game, um, very similar to what we've experienced before. Um, so I think there's a real excitement in the, in the squad um, for the fresh challenge. And um, we've been together now 10 days training, training hard. And everyone's reacted, I think, very well. Um, and we're looking forward to this trip and obviously looking forward to the season. There are some differences, I think, um, on the training ground. There's a different um, type of training to what we've been used to. Um, and as I say, I think everyone's reacted very well to that. It's very uh, say interesting training, but the training's always very fast-paced, always very intense. Um, and there's not one session where players can relax or be sloppy and not be fully focused. And that's how it has to be. Um, if you want to prepare for a season to try and challenge in the Premier League, it has to be a... You have to train as you want to play, um, and the manager certainly brought that in so far. I think there's some some uh, discipline and rules that, that is pretty normal. Uh, manager said he respects us and uh, and doesn't want to lay down too many laws, but he accepts, expects us to understand the laws without him having to tell us. And I think he's got a good bunch of, in our squad to do that. So there's not too many changes, but as I said before, everyone's reacted well to the changes we've had. Yeah. First of all, hello to everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, I agree with, with Frank. Uh, I think uh, we start to in, enjoy the training session, and uh, which is good for us. And uh, I think we will follow this way and try to give our best. Well, first of all, I think in um, in the Abramovich era, I think we've had six, seven very successful years. And I think it's normal that you, you can't possibly win every year. <coughs> The expectations are higher, but sometimes you can fall short due to the quality that's out there. Um, I think we have to hold our hands up and say Manchester United deserve to win the league at home. Um, and I don't think anyone in the room would disagree that Barcelona would have deserved a team to win the Champions League. So we just have to learn the lessons from that. We have to. I think we have the quality in this team to be successful at home and in the Champions League. But it's a matter of um, getting our focus right. We had a very poor patch of form for a few months last season, which you can't afford to do, so um, I think maybe we have to be aware of that. We have to make sure we keep our eye on the ball throughout the season, individually, um, as players. 
Um, and if we do that with the quality we have, then I don't see no reason why we can't get back to the successes we had the year before and more. They have uh, Manchester United, Man City and Liverpool have spent fortunes and um, on good quality players, but I think we're in a bit of a different situation because I think we already, already have a very strong squad. Uh, the manager obviously wants to evaluate what he's got, which is, you know, which is not very understandable. And then, and who knows if we add or change, that's the manager's prerogative. But the, the great thing we know already is that we believe in ourselves as we are. So as the manager makes additions or changes it, and I think we're very strong to challenge whether Manchester United or any other team spends whatever, we still believe in ourselves. First of all, we are in the midst of preparation for our Olympic qualifiers, and definitely I need the experienced players to come with the young boys. So, for me, this experienced player will, be, will benefit yeah. at the same time uh, the young players to get a chance to play against the big players. I'm not sure about uh, the, the rest of the impact that it can have on, on the market. I mean, it's, it's a club that takes a decision to sell a player. And I, I think I have nothing to do with that, uh, with that question. It's not up to me to, to, uh, to respond to what Man City does in terms of, of, of the market. I mean, I think uh, what is clear to me is, is, is that I understand that, that Man City is uh, year after year uh, a team that is challenging for the Premiership. And, uh, and for sure the, the impetus will be on, 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 on that for it to happen in, in, the, in the next seasons. So uh, they are preparing themselves and uh, making adjustments to the squad regarding 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 Tevez. They have no further comment to do. I mean, untouchable is the person who, who continuously performs at the high level, and and again based on the trophies that these players have won before and the amount of, of, of success that they have, aren't these the players that you want in the end? Could be no. <laughs> So as long as as long as people are able to perform in in, in training and, and perform to the to the expectations that the fans have and and and, uh, and to to a level of performance that is high and that uh, enables them to be in the starting eleven continuously, I have I, I see why it shouldn't happen. I mean, the most important thing for a, for a leader is to be coherent in the decisions that he makes, that he takes, and uh, and, uh, and it's, it's I think it's a principle that I cannot uh, that I cannot. Uh, uh, let's go. I mean, as, as long as people are able to, to perform to the highest level, which they are as top players, and uh, which the past also shows, I have no problem with that.